course, for the Jenkins project is the 21st of June or 22nd of June, India Standard Time. Uh, great to, to have every, have you here. Uh, for right now, it's just Diraj and me, and I've got these topics, weekly release change log, 289, 2.289.2 LTS change log, and we hope the bulk of the session will be on the Contributor Summit. Uh, anything else, Diraj, that you want to add to the agenda? No, nothing from my side other than this. Okay, well, so shall we go to weekly release change log first? I, I'm really pleased to see that Tim, have you seen Tim Jacomb's work on automation? I think he started uh, yesterday, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so so at least now there's, there's, I don't know that it's going to be ready to actually run this week. So, so I think we still need a change log this week, or do you know differently? And hey, there is already a change log available. Well, for this week, uh, this week I tried to uh, generate the change log, and I was able to okay. do it, but then I had a power cut. So, everything is done, but I need to just push it to the main repo. Oh, okay. So you've got the you've got the change log written. All right. Mm -hmm. Ready to push it. Okay, we're, well, great. So is there anything else that you and I, uh, Mark, to review the pull request from Tim? Tim for change log automation. And, and he specifically requested my review. I'm not sure I'm credible, but I'm happy to review it and try to be, be useful. Right. So if it's not a problem for you then can you like uh, run the automated change log tool and uh, see how many um, entries are there just to cross check if i have the same amount of entries or not ah good okay yeah or else and i can also share my screen if you want i can show you the draft uh, no need. If you push, if you push the pull request, I'll review it in the pull request. That's great. Sure, sure. And after that, one more question about uh, how the Docker tool, changelog tool, extracts the pull request from Jenkins repository to the uh, we, the changelog.yaml file for us. So I wanted to know which. Uh, pull request goes to the comment section and which does not. So there are some tags, right? So I have to, wanted to have some discussion on that as well. Ah, okay. A, so yeah, so my understanding is that the way that a pull request is decided if it should not be included in the change log is there's a tag skip dash change log. So let's take a look at, for instance, this one. Tim assigned this label skip dash change log mm -hmm. here, and that will cause it to be written into the change log as a comment. Whereas this one does not have skip dash change log, so it would by default tend to be written into it. Now I'm going to actually label it skip change log because this particular one I don't think justifies an entry for the user. It, this is an entirely internal to the test, the automated testing of Jenkins. J Jenkins users don't need to see that. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So all the PRs that are open, that will not be taken up by the change log tool. All those have been closed, that will be taken up. Is that correct? That's correct. It's certainly only the ones that have been closed and, or, or merged actually, I guess is the, is the more precise term. And mm -hmm. if they've been merged and have skip change log, then they'll be in the comment. If they if they don't have skip change log, I don't know if I can do that. No, it doesn't do negation. So those without skip change log, like, well, like, let's see, like this one. And somehow I think that, oh, this was just closed. Okay, that's why, that's not a problem. This was not merged. 
we wanted one that was merged. So like this one. Nope, it's also got skip. <laughs> many, many of them. Okay, here we go. Implement intercepting executor surface without Java, without Guava. This one has been merged and should be in a in one of the change logs. And while we're at it, can you go back to that PR? Sure. And can you go to the proposed change log? Yes, this one. So I have I have uh, edited and put and placed this similar text as the change log entry. Is that correct in terms of verb and everything? It is. Yes, that's correct. Okay. I just have changed, uh, put the code tag just to highlight it. Right. This this text this text is exactly what should be mm -hmm. in the in the change mm -hmm. log. That's correct. Done. Okay. So I, I understood now. All right. Yeah. So I think. Yeah, that, that's an interesting one because this is this particular library, Guava, has been filled with challenges for us. And we, we want to decrease our usage of Guava wherever we can. But in this case, the class hierarchy includes Guava, Guava objects in the signatures. And therefore, doing it without Guava really does mean making changes to the class hierarchy. And and so that's that's the worry there. That this is a this is a, a very a very cool change. Yep. Oh, that's great. All right. So change the change log entry to be skipped. Anything else on the weekly release change log? No, nothing yet. I'll push the okay. changes. Excellent. Super. Thank you. Okay, then I propose let's switch and let's go to the 2.289.2 LTS change log. We had planned to do that. Are you okay if we take the time tonight, today to do that? Definitely, yes. I was waiting for this. <laughs> okay, great. Well, and, and so the documentation for how to do this is is inside the let's see jenkins change log generator which i thought it was here no not there oh well that would have done it here we'll just use that it's taking us here because that's the repository that has the tool in it so in core change log generator, I believe there is instruction. Yeah, here we go. It's got, these are the things that we can use for all the backported issues. And yeah, so let's, let's see if we can work through it. So I don't, I haven't used Well, well, let's see if this this is the if the technique would work, because I have to go remind myself each time. So let's go look at Jenkins Jira, and I'm going to stop sharing for just a minute while I bring up Jira. Okay, now, and I want to find all issues that are flag two dot two eighty nine dot two dash fixed. No, that's not it. Okay, here we go. Good. All right, so back to sharing my screen again. Here it comes. All right, so what you should see here 
are items that have had the label assigned to them 2.289.2 fixed. And these should be the same things that are mentioned in Jenkins core in the pull request that merges 2.289.2. Oh, let's see, it needs to be closed. Backporting for 2.289.2. So we should see 65,766, which we do, and 65,751, and 65,657, which we do, and 624, which we do, and okay, good. So, so this and this match seem to match each other, showing us which things have been backported from 2.289 or from later releases than 2.289 into 289.2. Mm -hmm. Any questions so far? Uh, so all the PRs that we want to find out in the main core repository, they will be in a particular merge, which will be labeled as backporting for, and then the version number. Uh, actually, I think the label here is this into LTS label. Oh. But let's take a look at that. I think usually, yeah, the, the title of the PR is backporting for, but then the label is into dash LTS. Okay, so it's better to remember it by the label. Right. So yeah, but so you were you were very, that, very good. So, so here is, we see this one backporting for LTS 2.289.1. And then before 2.289.1 released, there was an additional backport. And here is the one for 2.289.2. And, and we see it here with this block of text. Hmm. Okay. Got it. All right. Now this one, it will help me if I... It appears I'm not allowed to edit. Edit. Oh, good. Okay. I'm going to do an edit here just because I don't need that. We just need it to say 2.296. Okay, is that correct? I think that's correct. Okay, and now we don't have the horizontal scroll bar and we've got the information. So this column here shows us which version included the fix, first included the fix. This one, I'm not sure what to think about that extra 2.289.1. We'll have to investigate that further. And this one, I don't know which version included those two. So let's do some quick checking here. 64347 included in which release. So if we look at the commits, sometimes we're lucky enough that it will show us the tag that first included that commit. Nope. I don't see it there. Okay. Okay, so let's look at the change log to see where it mentions that. I, rem I remember doing this on 2.297 or 2.296. Let's see. Yes, there it is, 297. Good, okay. So Jenkins 2.297 is the one that includes that. 64,347. Okay. And 65,195. is also 2.297. Okay, good. 
So I think we've got recorded which version each of them was done in. Good, all right. Okay, LTS backports change log, okay. Okay, so here is the script. I don't run it very often, so let's try it. Sorry, just checking to be sure that everything is correct and complete here. Yep, there are the mentions of them. Okay, good. And I think what it said is we would run it like that. Oops, wrong argument number. Meaning 2.289.2 and path to Jenkins.io content. Like that. Num invalid numeric literal at line one, column seven. Okay, that did not help me very much. Okay. I am not a Ruby programmer, so we may end up doing this sort of the hard way. Mm -hmm. And the hard way is actually not that hard, so I don't feel too badly about it. Okay. Just a minute. I'm just going to do this one for right now. Just a moment, we're going to use that one. Because I think this may give us similar results. Okay. So it gives us fix request submit usage, fix process tree, stop using deprecated submit events. I think this gave us a good working copy. So I'm going to check out change log dash two dot two eighty nine dot two. Start this running while we're here. Okay, content underscore data change logs weekly. No, 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 we need LTS, don't we? Okay. And there it is. Good, okay, so we've got the right thing. Now 
Okay. So my technique is just this one. Let's see. Steal one that's already there. Eighty-nine dot two, and we need the release date for that, which is, I believe, June thirtieth. Okay, and now we need the changes. So. generally don't carry comments. All right, so there is a rough draft. Now what I'm gonna do is let's look at the list in the order that Tim provided them. So 65, 7, 66. Now are they in, oh, those are just in numerical order. So probably not what users will expect. Okay, so. But to be sure we get the right things, let's put them in numerical order initially. So that we know we've got an exact match. Okay, 65766, 65751. Six, six, five, seven. After six five seven, then six five six two four. Diraj, I apologize if this is boring. Okay, now wait a second. Six two four. Six five six two four. Not included. What? Okay, webhook failures. Okay, that surprises me. So this one is not found. Why not? Webhook failures after. Okay, that's not mentioned in any of our change logs. All right, so I need to go find this one. I don't understand that. So webhook failures. Why would I be missing that one, Diraj? Any insights? Jenkins 65624 is not mentioned in this one either. Should be in 2.290 weekly change log. I didn't. only mentioned there. And yet it says it was included in 2.290. OK, 
Okay, more research. Okay, here's the pull request. Ah, okay. Oh, no, he says the related pull request was not 9.4.40. Okay, so what happened was the upgrade Is this saying that the upgrade to, oh, okay, the upgrade to 9.4.39 did harm. This one, switch to Windstone 5, it's at 17, updates us to 9.4.40. Okay, good. So what I need to find is the, this one is in fact the Windstone upgrade. That's why I'm not finding it. It's this one right here. Okay, so that explains why it's not included. Oh, but there it is. It went one step further. Okay. Whoops, that. That was not what I wanted because we've got windstone 5.17. Okay, here, I, I understand. All right, so, so Diraj, what's happened here is mm -hmm. this, this message, this problem, mm -hmm. the upgrade to, of Jetty to 9.4.39 caused a problem. It is solved in this backport by upgrading to Windstone 5.18, which includes a, the, a newer version of Jetty to fix the problem. So now if we look at this change, we should see it. There it is. So this is the change. Okay, good. Now I understand at least, and therefore, this thing right here, this mention of Windstone 5.18 is the upgrade, but it's doing an update of Jetty from not just 9.4.40, it's I think actually going from Windstone 5.16. Where do we see that? I was just looking at that. Where was it? Oh, right here. No, right here. Okay, this is going from Windstone 5.16 to 5.18, which means we have to document two steps in this change. Okay, so we have to describe not just the update We're updating Windstone 5.7.17. Oops. So we're upgrading from winds to windstone 5.18, upgrade jetty from, and now it's going through two versions. So we have to describe the two versions, not just the one.
There it is. Like that. Okay, because this is saying we're going from Windstone 5.17 and five, we're installing 5.7, updating from 5.16 to 5.18. So Windstone. And now it's 9.4.39 something. There it is. Sorry that this is so complicated. I fear that we may have to schedule a second session for our, our work on the, on the slides. Are you okay with me continuing with this still? Yes, yes, that's not a problem. Okay, so what we find here is update jetty from nine dot, okay. Okay, so what we have here is and we decided this goes right after 65657. Right, then six five five eight five. Okay, here it is, and it's in the correct location. Good. Six four nine one one. Eight a six six five one nine five. Okay, we did that one. Oh, 64991, okay. There it is. And it's in the correct location. 64347. There it is as well. Again, correct location, 65195. Okay, there it is. And then this one is just the backporting one, so it can be deleted. All right, now I think I'm ready to double check the list. So six, five, seven, six, six, there, got it. Six, five, seven, five, one, got it. Six, five, six, five, seven, got it. Uh, this one is 
Oh, oh, we lost the bug report for this one. We need to put the bug report in here. And what was the bug report number? It was 65624. For all that work collecting that, then for me to, to drop it, 65624. Okay, now 65585, yep. 64991, yes. Six five one nine five oh six four three four seven. Whoops, where's six four three four seven, Diraj? What did I do? Ah, it's in the same thing. Okay, got it. So ah, okay, that's good. So covered. And then 65195, which is right here. And we've got one extra. Five, three, four, six, two. Okay, I don't know what to think about this last one. Did I make a mistake gathering that in? Pull request 5405. Okay. Ah, okay, this one. 289.1, 289.2RC. Okay, so this is intended to be included and these commits will be included, but it was already mentioned in the 2.289.1 change log, right? Yeah, there it is. It's already mentioned. So we don't need to mention it a second time. Okay, I don't know how I got that in there, but there really isn't a, well, is there? Okay, this one has been particularly challenging because there are things involved here with, um, multiple attempts to fix the thing. But this change is in this specific pull request was already in 2.289.1, according to this. Mm -hmm. Since it's already there, I don't see why we would mention it. So maybe this one is a place to put in as a comment. So if after that, we put they did some more changes on this so you're saying we don't need to mention it again and latest one yeah and so there were there was an additional pull request right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so i'm just going to i'm going to steal a how do we insert a comment because i don't think we want this in the LTS change log, but just to show that you and I thought about it. Let's put it here. What do you think? Does that seem reasonable? Yes. I mean, it, it it truly has already been mentioned. And if we look for 5405, oh, no, oh, wait a sec. No, we look for 53462, it has been mentioned. Hmm. multiple times. So I think it's reasonable for us to
include the mention there. All right, now let's do the actual content editing of this. Okay, so. So, So what we have done till now is we extracted all the PRs from with the help of the changelog tool and then we placed it in the right file and then we ordered them according to their number and now we are formatting their message. Correct, exactly. Yeah, very good observation. Yeah, so I'm formatting them. I think then we will need to go back and revisit the ordering to get the ordering correct for user benefit. But exactly, so I wanted to be sure that I didn't miss anything in the in creating the change log so i went through it in in the order that they were referenced in the in the pull request yeah exactly understood please now i'm doing okay so pull request is 5498 issue is this and the update here is to 17. And this is the windstone one that we did in some depth. Let's compare windstone. Okay. So the way it's been formatted in the past has been just to declare windstone without using the version number. So let's do that again. Windstone 5.18. Update Jetty from something something for bug fixes and enhancements.
And one of the bug fixes is this issue 65624. So then we've got major bug regression, proposed change log 65. Okay, that's good. It's regressions in form submissions after. Now we need pull request. So we need a references section with an issue, a poll on a poll. Issue is this one. This one. This one. Regression in 2.289.1, I think, or no, was this? Okay, now I've got to go do the research. Just a moment, because I need to see which one this is. What, what version did this first regress in? So it was fixed in 2.289.2 fixed. So I believe it regressed. Okay, it was released in 2.296. So it had to be a problem already in 2.289.1. At least I think it was, right? Because, so the regression came at least in 2.289.1. The question then is, did it last longer than even that? Okay, caused by this, and this change was first merged into Okay, first version that had this one was Jenkins 2.28. Okay, so the first version with this regression really was, as far as we know, 2.289.1. Okay, good. So, where is that? There we go. Okay. Like that. Okay. Any objections so far, Diraj? No. Okay. All right. Now another one. This one is. Okay. Jenkins. Redirect, redirect users to the previous page. Okay, it's a comment from Daniel. We're just gonna leave it. I like it. Okay, this one says, fixes to process tree implementation in Darwin. In, while writing in 
while including this in cha weekly change log, uh, Oleg suggested to create two entries for both of the Jenkins issues. Very good. Okay. And that's what I was assuming. So that's excellent. So his recommendation was this should be two entries. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. And so let's, and I bet you already did that in the weekly, didn't you? Yes. So we can just steal your weekly uh, text. Three, four, seven. So here is the weekly, right? And now we have to fix the indentation on this one. Whoops, where'd it go? Some more space to work. Okay, so, so here's the out of bounds memory access on, and these, they are right next to each other. So we can just grab them both. Perfect. Thank you, Diraj. So glad that you're here. Okay, so now this needs to be indented to match the current file format. I think we can undo the uh, tabs by pressing sh selecting the text and then pressing shift and tab. Like yeah, I'm not sure that my button. Emacs has that uh, oh. has that set up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so you're saying that v VS Code would have allowed me to do that reindent very trivially. Yes, in the backward direction. All right, so let's just do this. Okay, now I think we are ready. Okay, bug, bug. Yeah, so there they are, the two expressed separately just as they're done in the, in the weekly. All right, now let's get the ordering right. Uh, I think the rules were RFEs before bugs, right? And major before non-major. Yes. So there's a major. Okay, so RFE, RFE, bug, 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 bug. All right, those are all at least bugs. So let's try building the page and see what happens. Come on. So poor little computer has been very busy while I've been editing. Now we're going to open up that page. I had forgotten to do the force thing. Let's see if it worked. Okay, Diraj, here's what we've got. Let's read it together. See if we believe this makes any sense.
So we've got major fix, update X stream. Okay, I think we should put this one before this one because there is a, an important fix inside that one. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yes. This one is closer to being mechanical. Okay, so windstone 5.18, upgrade from, okay. A race condition in class loading, do not change fonts. Okay, any objection from you? Not on this. I just have some few questions. Okay. I'll ask them very quickly as we know the time is there. So what is the frequency of these NTS change logs? Every four weeks. Every four weeks. And when is the, okay, so when should a person write the change log for NTS? Roughly two weeks between one, two, the preference is two weeks prior to the release. Mm -hmm. So so what happens is the, the calendar, let's look at the Jenkins calendar. Um, here, we'll just drag in my calendar. The Jenkins calendar shows us that June 30th is the 2.289.2 release. And our preference would be two weeks before the release candidate is delivered and shortly after that release candidate being delivered is when we would like the change log and the upgrade guide. So after 16th, there will maybe some more changes that have to be up, up included in the NTS, LTS change log. So that will be done side by side, right? There, there might be, but it is, quite, it is quite rare that there are changes after the initial release candidate because the, the, the team that the release, the release, the release lead will take quite a bit of effort to try to be sure to have all of the changes that were desired into it in time for the release candidate. So that those of us who test the release candidate don't have to discard our test environments and start again. Right. And which change ideally goes into weekly and which one goes to LTS? Okay, now I'm not sure I asked that question again. Which change goes into weekly and which change goes into LTS? Explain further. Yes. So there are some changes which uh, I have to add in the weekly change log. And there are some changes that are added into the LTS change logs. So I, I was thinking that all the weekly change logs that fall in the four week timeline will go into the LTS change logs, but that is not the case. So how do we decide? Oh, right, good question. Okay, so in choosing which things go into an LTS change log, particularly the dot one, so 2.289.1, that's a judgment call from the author of the change log to decide which things deserve to be mentioned and which do not. Right. And you also showed me earlier previously in the meeting that there is a uh, upgrading document that is written by, an, by a dedicated author on the Jenkins IO website for right. each LTS change log. So what about that? That's a very good one. And that was the next thing we need to do. So let's go look at that. If we look in the upgrades directory, we'll now find a 289-1 ADOC, and we're going to create a new one called 2-289-2.adoc. And now when I looked, as we were looking through all those changes, I didn't see anything that seemed like it justified a change log. So, I would just by default copy this text into the 2.289.2 change log. Now let's go back and let's look together just to be sure that we didn't lose something there. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so 
back to the LTS change log. Okay, are there any of these things that would require an upgrade guide entry? This one does not. The user just gets it, it's fixed. This one, there's no change they need to make for configuration even with that issue. That is just, the failure should, should no longer happen. Likewise, this one, nothing. And these, this one, nothing, nothing. Yeah, so this one, I think it is correct for it to declare no notable changes requiring upgrade notes. Did that answer your question? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's take a look and see what we've got changed then. So here we've got this one. We need to register that with SCM. And here we've got this one and this one, we need to check its differences just to see what's changed. Whoops, this is okay. All right, so what we have here is 2.289.2 change log delivering this 30th of June with these changes in it. Diraj, I think we're ready to call that good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and commit those two things. Okay. Add 2.289.2 change log and upgrade guide. Okay. All right, so we've done that. Now we should be ready to create the pull request. Whoops, whoops, wait a second. It says there's an, oh. Okay, let's try that again. GHPR create. We should push it to my branch. Okay, submitting it. And now we need to go place this screenshot. Sorry, this is a, again, a rather complicated thing, but I, in order to make it easier for people to read the changes, we always post a screenshot, but I guess you, you've done this from weekly. So you know all about yes. this, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. So here is the screenshot of that one. And There we go. Great. So I just small three more questions as well. Okay. So can LTS change log be also automated or it cannot be? I I think eventually it could be, if we were to use some some better labeling. It's just um. Uh, Do you have another meeting right now? Just a minute, actually. This is good. Um, let me so. If you want, I can ask at a later time. Oh, no, 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 quite the opposite. I think this question that I just received may allow me even more time, may allow time for you and I to continue what we're doing because I don't have the next meeting. Oh.
Okay, good. Sorry, forgive the interruption, Diraj. That that was, I just needed to to handle something with Google Summer of Code. Mm -hmm. Okay, no so so we've done. Now back to your question. Ask your question again, and let let me focus. Yes, about the automation of LTS change logs. So, so I think I think it it very well could be possible, and Oleg believed it was possible. Um, it's a much heavier curation process, much heavier review process for the um, LTS change log than it is for the for any other change, you know, for the 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 weekly change log. But the things that you and I just did, right, reviewing these things, applying the text transformations, etc., those could probably be done with labels or greatly improved with labels if people were willing to apply labels and do similar techniques to the pull requests as they were developing. Hmm, but that also depends upon if they do that or not, right? I think so, because we, we've up to this point at least chosen to make the LTS change log something that we intend for to be read by users and for them to think carefully about what they're reading. And, and in order to do that, it, it has thus far anyway, needed to be, it has needed for us to be more careful in what we include in it. It has to be human reviewed. Okay. And I also went to another web, website of some another thing. So they have their change logs and I clicked on it and they redirect me to the GitHub repository having all the changes. But in Jenkins, we have a dedicated place where they can the developers can view the change logs and it is for their convenience and specific order style guides just follow. So um, this is just to help the developers, right? Who have less time spent on their side to understand. Well, so so the Jenkins also likes the the GitHub releases concept, right? So we use we also are quite happy to use. I think what you're referring to is something like this, where when I look at this through GitHub, it tells me, oh, here are the new features and improvements in 298, here are the dependency updates. Is that what you were referring to? Yes. And, also and so, go ahead. Yes, yes. also in the Jenkins.io website, we have a separate page for change logs so that they can view all of them. So that is that is also something to help developers to look at. Yes. You mean like this? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, so. Well, well, this one actually is focused on end users more than it is even on developers. Yes, we allow that. We we frequently place developer content there, but the first focus for this one is still on users rather than on just developers. Hmm. Especially because website, be yes, please, oh, go ahead. Because some website don't even have this page dedicated for change logs. So this is an extra step taken by Jenkins, right? Correct. Well, and, and this is an extra step taken by Jenkins that also allows us to, to gather data from users when they click one of these three icons. Mm -hmm. So if right. if if the user clicks if the user clicks 48 here, Jenkins.io says thanks, and the number goes up to 49. That says I successfully deployed 2.298. If I had an issue, I experienced notable issues, I can click this one, and it will prompt me for the issue number from JIRA. Now I didn't, so, and likewise for this one, if I had to roll back, I can enter that and then it will remember those issue numbers here so that others can see, oh, here's the things that the community reported were, were problems. Hmm, got it. And uh, last, I think, the next question is that the previous to previous jobs office our video uploaded on the YouTube channel had a surprising lot of views. It has 40 views. So I'm just wondering why does it have so many views? Do you know? Sorry, which thing had 40 views? The, I think previous to previous docs office are video. 
Ah, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Let's go. All I can do is make guesses on that one. That's a very, mm. very good one because because what we've what we have here is I can open it up and show you. We've got let's switch. I'll switch to the Jenkins account. And now we're going to look at the playlists, Jenkins playlists. Okay, I just and hope I have not shared something that I should not be sharing on screen. <laughs> oh, well, and 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 that's that's okay, right? If if you have, mm -hmm. you let me let me know and we'll delete that video. If you if you discover, oh, there was something sensitive that I had shown, mm -hmm. um, then then we delete that video. That there's no shame in us saying, oops, we didn't intend to show that. Where sure, I is, get it. Where are the playlists here? Okay, so we want to see the doc sig. Okay, and so for example, yeah, here is, and you said that one of these had a recent one had, so like our, our session from last week had 40 views. Mm, no, not this one. Okay, this one had 12. Previous. Okay. This one has seven. Previous. This one is 41. Wow. Okay, apparently yes. we are very popular. I, I would never <laughs> have guessed that 41 views of. <laughs> I, I don't you know how we write change logs. I don't know. A, apparently, I, I, I don't have any answer as to why, why that one would have been so popular. <laughs> any are the any of the others as popular as that no 10 views okay so that's that's very interesting I, I i wonder what well let's maybe there's something to be learned from that what does this now see that doesn't sometimes i put much longer comments here but didn't on on this one so since since it's not got even a longer comment i can't explain why this one got 40 views hmm, no problem I look at them and let you know if I find something. Okay. Okay, and, uh, and I'm going to switch no, back. Um, All right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes. Just last thing I wanted to share is that the weekly PR that I'm supposed to push to the main core, I think it will be delayed because I have something else going on. So it will be delayed by five to six hours if that's not an issue for you. That is not an issue. If, if it's if it's not available, exactly at, at the time that it built that if it's only five or six hours from now, you'll be available in plenty of time. I won't review it because I'll be asleep, but others can review it and and decide if there are changes needed. Sure. So I'm hoping I'll be pushing it uh, after six hours, so that would not be a problem. Great. That that's that's wonderful. Um, if and if we need to end immediately, we could end immediately. If you've got ten or fifteen minutes to talk about our session at the contributor summit, I would love to spend a few minutes on that. Oh, or do you yes. need to? Are there things you need to do for for university or for for personal needs? We could stop right now, Diraj, if that if needed. Yes, actually, I do have uh, one important thing. Okay, so let's let's call this an end and we will talk. I may send you an invitation to talk about the Contributor Summit separately. Aditya also couldn't join us, so mm -hmm. it probably would be good for us to meet together separately to talk about it anyway. Exactly. So that's before right. the CDCon, right? It, it is. So, well, it's sure. the Contributor Summit is Friday or Saturday, Saturday morning, your time. Mm -hmm. And and mm -hmm. so it will be it will be we've got we've got a few days still that we can meet together to talk further right that would be great all right thanks very much i'll stop our recording you have a great day good luck thank you thank you so much